The case for a rescue dog is simple. Thousands of homeless dogs are euthanized every year because they don't have a home. Good dogs, beautiful dogs, sweet, loving, and yes, sometimes purebred dogs. All are homeless because someone gave them up for whatever the reason. These dogs deserve to find a loving, caring, and forever home with a responsible owner. A dog might be surrendered to a shelter for many reasons. A small, cute little puppy may have grown into an 80-pound galloping adolescent full of energy and ready to play and be walked every day. Some people may not anticipate the level of commitment and participation required to have a dog. The dog may have barked too much or, God forbid, chewed up the owner's favorite shoe left on the floor. But for the most part, these dogs were given up not because they were bad, but because they were being themselves, a dog. Most rescue dogs, however, can be trained out of bad behavior. Dogs are very much like kids. If left to grow up without rules, boundaries, and positive lessons, they could very well become ill-behaved. But given the proper training, attention, and understanding, any dog can be a good dog. Again, much like kids, dogs seek your attention and will find a way to get it, be it positive or negative. Communication, consistency, and a committed owner are all key ingredients to achieving good dog manners. If you can't seem to achieve results on your own, seek a trainer. There are many methods and different kinds of trainers, and you should do some homework to find one with whom you feel comfortable. I have an animal behaviorist coming to my home this evening. Even though I am committed, and I think I'm communicative, our multiple dog household has become a haven for barking. Walks have turned into a tryout for the Iditarod, and feeding time is dicey at best. But I realize that barking, competitive pulling, and wanting more food than the other guy are all natural dog behaviors. As mentioned earlier, rules, lessons, and proper communication can change that. I'm looking forward to learning where I erred and what I can do to turn our household back into a peaceful sanctuary. Some people have told me that they think a rescue dog has an unknown past and therefore could be nothing but trouble. Regardless of a dog's past, dogs live to receive attention, food, and play. Even dogs with an extremely troubled past, like the Michael Vick dogs, through therapy are well on their way to a trusting and happy relationship with humans. Some of those dogs have already been adopted. For full stories on these amazing recoveries, go to bestfriends.org. Did I mention the love? There is no better feeling than being greeted by a joyous wagging tail at the end of a long, hard day. A dog loves you unconditionally, even when the rest of the world does not. I have four dogs, all rescues, and I know in my heart that their love for me goes a little bit deeper because I rescued them. I've heard some say a rescue dog is the latest trend, but importantly, you should know that adopting a rescue dog would be a kind, caring thing to do, not to mention how much joy a rescue dog could add to your life. And by all means, if you're contemplating adding a dog to your household, please contact your local animal shelter first.